Today we discover a strange connection between a chart-topping song and an awful nursery rhyme that no one likes. Hey, it's Inju Huang. I've been thinking recently about what makes a song cool. What makes you really vibe to it and tweet the fire emoji about it. And I started thinking about this because I noticed that one of the coolest, biggest songs of the year, Closer by the Chainsmokers and Halsey, has a hook with only three notes in it, and they happen to be the same notes as Mary Had a Little Lamb, which I would argue is the least cool song of all time. Let's check them out side by side. Pull the sheets right off the corner of the mattress that you stole From your roommate back in Boulder We ain't ever getting older Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb Mary had a li- Super sick track right there. Sonically, Closer is in a really interesting place. It's laid back, but it still has a lot of energy to it. It's got a drop, but it's not a banger. It's got this super chill piano, but it's not a ballad. It has a cool vibe. Mary Had a Little Lamb, on the other hand, is a little dinky. So what I want to do today is slowly add elements of Closer to Mary Had a Little Lamb and see how cool we can make it. First off, most of the time when you hear Mary Had a Little Lamb, there are no instruments just the piercing cries of young children. So let's add a little piano. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. So with piano, still not cool at all. But check it out with the piano from Closer. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. Now that is a lot more interesting, and I think it all comes down to resolution. The way our brains perceive music, there are certain things you can do with pitches that just sound unfinished. Here's a great example. You're gonna hate me for this. Whew! Is that as bad for you as it is for me? Let's fix that right now. So good music usually plays with this a lot. It creates tension and resolution over and over and on a lot of different levels. In the Chainsmokers song, this is our resolution chord. In music nerd world, we call it the tonic. Check out their chord progression again while I count how many beats are spent on each chord. So the first chord is held for five eighth notes, and our tonic is also held for five eighth notes. That middle chord that's kind of a bridge between the two of them is held for a total of six eighth notes. So out of these 16 beats, 11 of them are spent in unresolved harmonic space. Compare that to Mary Had a Little Lamb. Here we're spending three quarters of our time resolved, and the tonic is a good chord. It feels like home, but a chord progression like this is about as boring as spending all your time at home. Not only that, but the progression starts and ends on it, so it's super basic, whereas the Chainsmokers progression starts away from home, takes you there for a bit, then pulls you away again and repeat. The progression in Closer also uses a bit of rhythmic tension and resolution because that middle chord is always played on an off beat. So you get that little bit of tension from accenting a weird spot in the middle of each bar and then it's resolved at the start of the next bar. Now let's contrast this in reverse and put the Chainsmokers melody over the super square Little Lamb progression. Pull the sheets right off the corner of the mattress that you stole From your roommate back in Boulder, we ain't ever getting old I would never listen to that song. That sucked. To me, it seems like the chords have a lot more sway than the melody over making the song sound cooler. Let's check something else out. With the Chainsmokers, we've got a lot of production involved. Great drums and string samples and a really awesome lead synthesizer sound. Let's check out the Little Lamb version. Mary had a little little lamb, little lamb, little lamb Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went Everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go Pretty cool for Mary Had a Little Lamb. And maybe you noticed one final little thing I did. When the drop comes, I added some grace notes to the melody. Those are those little tiny bonus notes. 
and that's something else I took from Closer. It adds that slight little extra bit of interest that is maybe also about tension and resolution. It's like a little trick for your ears where for a split second they hear one note, but then it actually ends up going somewhere else. So in another sense, maybe it's about leading your ears to the note that they want to hear. Or do we like it because it mimics the way the human voice sings? It kind of scoops into each note rather than robotically nailing each one. It seems like such a simple little thing, but I guess like everything we've talked about in this video, you can really explore it. It's a little more complex than it seems on the surface, and that's one of the things I love about music. By the way, I'm using a remake of Closer that I've modified a little bit, but I got the project file from Taylor Martin, so thank you, Taylor. Saved me a lot of time in making this, and uh, I'll link that video in the description. So what did we actually learn today? You gotta find the balance of how much tension and resolution will work in your music on a rhythmic level and on a harmonic level, probably on every level that there is. You can also make a really bland thing cooler by surrounding it with a bunch of cool things. Kind of like that one friend in your circle who they're great to have around in a group, but hanging out with them one-on-one -on -one isn't fun. If you haven't already, check out my last video, which was a medley of some of the biggest songs of the year, including a version of Closer played with household items. And maybe even press that bell thing and get notifications whenever I drop something new. Thanks for watching. Check you later.